Hi, welcome back to another video. If you have ever had back pain, or if you're dealing with it right now, you know how debilitating it can be. So watch till the end of this video, and I'm going to tell you the truth about back pain and what you really need to do to fix it permanently. All too often, you are told by doctors to rest in order to alleviate your back symptoms. The problem is, this is exactly the opposite of what you should do. Besides trigger point management, stretching and core workouts, which I've already covered extensively in my previous videos, one of the best ways to fix your back pain once and for all is exercise and to get stronger. So let me show you in this video how this can be achieved. If you like this video and find this useful, please click the like button. Please leave your comments below and share this video. Hit the notification bell so you won't miss any of my future weekly video release. Please also subscribe to this channel. This is completely free of charge, but will help the channel to grow. Thank you. But before I demonstrate to you the best strengthening exercises for your back pain, the first thing you need to do is to establish what type of back pain you're dealing with. Are you dealing with structural or pathological back pain that is caused by, for example, cancer metastasis, osteoporosis, osteomyelitis, problem with your intervertebral discs such as slip discs? Or are you dealing with back pain with no pathology, that is you cannot see anything wrong on your imaging tests such as MRI or radiographs? This type of back pain is of musculoskeletal nature and caused by muscle dysfunction. And these represents the vast majority of back pain cases. Well, if you're unlucky enough to suffer from back pain, how do you know which type of back pain do you have? Well, for structural or pathological back pain, the pain is there all the time, and no position makes the pain better. The intensity of pain does not change during the day, and they are nearly always associated with some gastrointestinal, urinary, or gynecological symptoms. Generally, if you suffer from any form of lower back problems, especially when it is persistent for more than six weeks and exhibit the following symptoms, you must seek immediate medical advice. First, history of cancer with recent weight loss not due to lifestyle changes, such as diet or exercise. Fever and chills. Pain from the lower back being referred elsewhere, such as down your buttock and leg. Or if you have significant leg weaknesses, loss of bladder and bowel control, and severe continuous abdominal pain and back pain. Let's talk about the characteristic of musculoskeletal back pain. First, generally the pain varies with time and physical activities. The back is usually stiff in the morning, but after you have been moving around, it improves. And the pain does not affect your general health, such as causing fever or sudden weight loss. However, in the majority of cases, regardless of what your specific diagnosis is, and even if you wind up having the rare surgery necessary to fix your back condition, you are still going to need to exercise your back muscles and get them stronger if you want to have no recurrence of your pain. Please take a look at my book which has helped many people who suffer from recurrent episodes of intense lower back pain and have tried seemingly everything. This simple sequence which I'm about to demonstrate to you is something that may be a game changer for you. Let's get started with the bar hang. The key is to keep your toes in light contact with the ground in order to allow your hips and pelvis to drop and give your lower back muscles a chance to release. And any joint compression issues that you may be having in the spine will be helped by this decompression. Remember, although the pain is typically felt at your lower back, the source is almost never the lower back. Because we realize the body is a kinetic chain that passes forces up and down through the lower back. For example, your hamstrings and your glutes are going to fit up into this lower back area and the mid-back and the thoracic area is going to fit down. So you need to be aware of what is going on everywhere. But this exercise happens to help us to do a few things. See, my feet are touching the ground lightly as I'm trying to get a decompression of that lower back area that is hurting. If my feet stay on the ground, I'm going to allow the muscles of my lower back to relax without any additional stresses placed upon them in the most acute painful stage right now. If your back pain is joint related, you are going to have the opportunity to decompress those joints just a little bit to provide you with the relief. All I'm looking for here is about 60 second hangs a couple of times a day are a great place to start, giving you some temporary relief and will likely not aggravate any pain you might be having at the moment. These will enable you to progress to the next exercises in this video. As I have just mentioned that prolonged rest was the worst thing you can do for your back pain. The reason is that the cause of chronic back pain is almost always to do with muscle weaknesses. So if you rest, you are not progressing. 
the enemy of progress is stagnation. And in this case of back pain, the enemy of back pain is prolonged rest. Let's get moving with the next exercise as we perform either a banded or cable seated row. With this seated exercise, you can either do this at home with a band or at the gym with a cable machine. The key is to keep the load extremely light here because it is the positioning that we are benefiting from. This is all about the range of motion and getting the muscles of the upper back to start firing while driving some of the blood flow to the muscles of the lower back. As you can see from the bottom position here, we are getting a good stretch of the muscles of your lower back with the help of a cable or resistance band as these muscles tend to get quite tight in most back pain cases. But beyond that, at the top position, you can see we are actually getting good work out here of the muscles of the lats and the mid-back that is going to help to improve your kyphotic posture and round the shoulders and improve your thoracic mobility. If we can get better extension through our upper back, that will allow our lower back to function more normally without compensation due to the lack of thoracic mobility. The next exercise is to reverse hyper. It is the first move to get the all-important activation of our glutes. You can perform this exercise either on the edge of a bench, but I prefer to do this exercise on an exercise ball as you can get those stabilization muscles working at the same time as you activate your glutes. You know, weak glute is a widespread problem due to prolonged sitting, and this is a common cause of back pain. We know that the long-term solution to your lower back pain is going to rely on stronger glute muscles that work in conjunction with the muscles of your lower back. The key is to get your legs above parallel. Squeezing your glutes at the top of the hip extension, hold momentarily and release down slowly. These movements feeds from the glutes to the lower back through the kinetic chain. And for the next exercise, we are going to drive the movement from the top down. So the next progression is the hyper row which takes this glute activation to the next level and provides you with the opportunity to hold some extra weight in your hands to additionally strengthen the muscles of your back and the lats. You can see here, although the back lifts first, it is still the glute that should be contracting and the core bracing to initiate and drive the movement of the upper back. The additional weight is going to allow your back to get stronger Progressively overloading those weak muscles in synchronization is important for their ultimate function and more importantly, prevent the recurrence of lower back pain due to muscle weaknesses. So the point here is, as your back starts to feel better, it is not just about feeling okay or not painful, but feeling strong and to ensure that your back pain does not recur again. So we now get on our feet to activate that kinetic chain. And the first of the three exercises on your feet is the cable pull through. And we start with this exercise only after you have mastered the ability to perform the other exercises up to this point and remain pain-free. This exercise allows you to drive the kinetic chain from the grounds up and progress with more weight so that you can continue to build strength of the muscles of your entire posterior chain. You see, the force that starts all the way down your feet will be transferred all the way up your kinetic chain through your pelvis to your lower back. So the muscles of your core, glutes and back need to be strong enough to handle this. This exercise teaches you how to properly hinge for good hip mechanics. And more importantly, it is getting the muscles of your posterior chain, including your hamstrings, glutes and lower back to work in synergy, all firing at the right time, in the right sequence. Now you have accomplished the pull through pain free and you already feel stronger. So how do we progress from here? Remember, you don't have structural issues with your musculoskeletal back pain, which is the most common form of back pain. It is the weaknesses of muscles up and down your kinetic chain, such as your core and your glutes. And enhancing the strength of that kinetic chain through functional compound exercises is going to be your salvation. The next exercise is one you probably didn't see you would ever do with your back issues. That is the deadlift. The deadlift will build upon the proper hinge learned during the pull-through and overload the muscles of the entire posterior chain even more effectively. Most people dealing with back pain feels that they will never deadlift again. That is the exact opposite thought of what you should have and need to do if you want to overcome these debilitating issues once and for all. This exercise reinforces the same thing we have just been working on with the pull-through. It is letting your glutes to be the main driver of hip extension, so feeding that kinetic chain and more importantly, the lower back muscles from the grounds up. It is all about the ability of the muscles of your back to contribute to the movement. 
Furthermore, you can easily progress with this exercise by adding more weight. It is the perfect next step for you to get over this back pain and build the strength necessary to make sure that it never comes back again. Finally, the barbell bent over row is something you should move to only when you have built the stability and strength of the back with the previous exercises. You may now ask, why is the barbell row more difficult than the deadlift? Or how is this exercise more demanding on your lower back? Well, it is all about the positioning of your body. Now, we have been talking about how important it is to support your lower back first and foremost. What the glutes are doing here in this exercise is while they are contributing to the movement, they are contracting isometrically to support your lower back whilst you lift the weights. So your glutes are not driving the movement here concentrically. Rather, they support the movement and thus shift the demand onto the core and your lower back more significantly to hold and lock yourself into place. Anyone who has tried this exercise knows that you have to have a good strong back to maintain the proper posture. Furthermore, because of where we carry this load when we lift it, it is a little bit further out in front of our body than it would be tucked tight against our body in a deadlift. So it increases the demand on your lower back. For all these reasons, it is not something you should avoid. It is just something you should save until you have the strength necessary to be able to do this right. So if you're looking for help, not only to get rid of your back pain, but build a strong athletic body capable of staying pain-free for the rest of your life, please take a look at my book. For more videos on the best exercise to fix your lower back pain, be sure to subscribe to my channel here on YouTube. And until next week, take care. Thank you for watching until the end. If you like this video, please click the like button. Please leave your comments below and share this video. Hit the notification bell so you won't miss any of my future weekly video release. Please also subscribe to this channel. This is free of charge but will help the channel to grow. If you're interested in improving your health and fitness or losing weight, if you suffer from or wish to prevent back pain, please take a look at my book, which is now available from Amazon Worldwide. Thank you.